I mean, I guess if I wind back to, to the beginning of 2020, you know, one of the things that NTT is um, very privileged to have, very much like Cisco, is we're a global company. We have organizations and operations in every country around the world. Um, and because of that, we could see at the very beginning of 2020 the impact of COVID-19 on Asia. You know, so it was like an early warning system. You know, we were hearing from our, our organizations and, and operations in China um, and across the Asia region of, of what was happening. So it gave us really a, a, an insight as to what was coming um, into the European markets and then into the Americas um, uh, from, from the East. Um, so that enabled us to, to, to plan maybe a little bit earlier. But I think like most organizations, you know, we never planned. Everybody had disaster recovery plans and could put disaster recovery and processes in place. But most of us really didn't expect for a global pandemic. You know, there was always a disaster relief if you had to shut one global delivery center. And we have two main sites in the world. Each one is a backup to the other. But we never really expected that that both would need to, to, to be to, to be um, working in a virtual space. So really, our, our first priority at the beginning of the year was to make sure that all of, all of our employees were safe. You know, that everybody felt empowered to do the right thing um, for them um, and their families uh, in their situation.